Frankie Abrazino with the scoop. Big government. The city of Sarasota is coming in and they're trying to flex their muscles. They want a bigger setback requirement, which will impede upon many private property owners' land. Um, they say they want it, but they're saying it won't. Some are indicating it's for sidewalks, but they say it won't necessarily lead to bigger sidewalks along the uh, pedestrian corridors that are out there. So the question is, does the city have the legal authority to require these uh, larger building setbacks in areas where you got these landowners out there and it's their private property and they have a right to construct up to the property line? One would think, one would assume, because that's how it is. <laughs> um, so the question is, can the city come in? Can they mandate larger setbacks? Uh, which will hopefully, trans what they're thinking is, um, translate into the creation of these larger sidewalks. Are the larger sidewalks even needed? So they had their city attorney, Robert Forner, come in and say, and he basically said, well, you know, it, it's a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah, I think we can do that. Um, but again, case-by-case, -case, and they do have private property rights. Um, you know, do I think I can do it? Well, you know, he doesn't know if they have the ability to force citizens to um, take their, give up their private property for land used by the public without compensation or even if compensation is offered. So it's a real gray area and uh, we'll see what the city does. They got the advice of their attorney. I'm not so sure it's great advice by the attorney, but what do I know? I'm not an attorney, thankfully. All right, everybody have a great day. This has been Frankie Abrazino with The Scoop.